Coming your way next on an all-new CMS TV, singer-songwriters and worship leaders in the Puget Sound area, Jordan and Chloe Obaya, join us live in studio to talk about their latest EP that was released, advice for worship leaders leading their churches, and to talk about the mission trips they're a part of. It's all headed your way next as Jordan and Chloe Obaya join us live for an all-new CMS TV. It starts right now. Hey, this is Crowder, and you're watching Christian Music Spotlight. new edition of CMS TV is on the air. Thank you so much for joining us on this live edition on this Friday, May the 26th, as we are here for an all-new Christian Media Spotlight here from the studios of TC Media here in Olympia, Washington. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Joe Neal. We are joined here today by some very special guests. Of course, if you watch the show over the years, primarily, it's a rarity that we have to do this here in studio. We usually either do Skype interviews or Google Hangout interviews, or we're usually on the road, on location, at, uh, wherever the local artists are performing. But here, we are very fortunate to have some singer-songwriters here from the Lake Taps area up near uh, the Tacoma area. They are brother-sister duo, singer-songwriters, and worship leaders. Please welcome to the show Chloe and Jordan Obaya. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. How are you doing today? Great. <laughs> Great. Thank you for taking the time to, to join our show and to join the broadcast and to share a little bit of your stories with our viewers. We're excited. Um, you guys are from the Lake Taps area. Tell us how you got started in music and when, uh, you know, worship leading and this songwriting a became a <laughs> calling for you. Um, well, well, I'm the older one, so I would say, I, I guess I really kind of, I started in music first. Um, our parents actually don't play any instruments whatsoever. Um, they uh, actually just bought me a guitar for my 12th birthday, and um, when I got the guitar, uh, I couldn't put it down. Like, it, it really, it felt like it was God sent, and um, I couldn't put the guitar down, and I started playing, and I got lessons, and after a few months, Chloe ended up finding her voice more and more, and she got she ended up taking lessons for her voice and so she actually started singing before i did and then um i, I guess like he, just yeah. yeah just being in church period and just seeing it growing up in that atmosphere in itself we um we just like were thrown like kind of right into it honestly uh, my uh, my dad threw me up on stage actually it was really funny um with the youth group that i, I didn't feel like i was even ready to play <laughs> and i didn't want to be on the stage, I didn't want to do anything with worship, and he ended up just like saying, no, just go do it, just try it and see how you like it. And I worship, and or I did worship that evening, and I loved it. It was, uh, it felt like it was a natural call right then and there, and then, um, but it's, yeah, we started leading more and more, and now we are um, worship leaders at our church, East Point, up in um, uh, Bunny Lake, Washington, so. Nice. And here we are now. Worshiping and you still. all have no, a new yeah. EP out as well. Tell us about yes. that and the process behind uh, creating yeah. that EP. Yeah, right here. So wanna, EP. There we yeah. go. Yeah, so we are, we're fundraising. We, since we like love music so much and we love worship, we were like, let's put our two things, like favorite things together is leading worship and c creating stuff as well as like doing missions trip every year as a family. So we had like, an, Jordan had an idea, like why don't we mm -hmm. kind of put them together and use, a, use this as a tool to like bring in money so we can go and uh, so yeah, it's our, it's a three song EP, um, it's called mm -hmm. Send Me, so it's, you know, like our kind of thing, like send us to Nicaragua, uh, so yeah, this mm -hmm. is our... We just got it today, actually, yeah. we got the hard copies <laughs> today, we, uh, we're on our way down, or we were just about to leave, and then we get a doorbell ring, yeah. <laughs> we turn, turn the car we were like, oh, let's get it really quick so we can bring one to show all you guys, and right. it's really funny how the idea started, too, with it, is like, I actually got the idea for the first song in the shower, <laughs> I was showering, and I heard... I heard the melody inside of my head, and I was like, wow, this is going to be an awesome song. And then it just so happened, we were talking about going on the missions trip again this year, and everything 
everything lined up to be like I would say it was like you could see God's hand yeah. in every single motion of the album making of us finding the studio to work with and um, everything lined up perfectly it was like a perfect puzzle mm -hmm. and so the album came along quick and I was just like we we were amazed with the results with it too so usually it's kind of hard sometimes to find that perfect producer to work with and yeah. our friend uh, Johnny Keenan he works with the Longston Studios he ended up re recording and engineering and doing all the mastering for us and That's he amazing. was mm -hmm. great to work in the studio yeah. with too so yeah and it's been doing awesome so far we've got a lot of good reviews on it and mm -hmm. it goes on Did itunes like summer this? too <laughs> yeah so yeah we get to do stuff like this <laughs> yeah. Yeah. joe and Clor no joe chloe and joe novaya here yeah. on an all-new christian music spotlight christian media spotlight i should say cms tv uh this isn't your first missions trip you guys have been on mm -hmm. what's probably the favorite aspect for you guys personally getting to go on these mission trips, mm -hmm. getting to see firsthand uh, what some of these countries get mm -hmm. to deal with on a daily basis. Um, I feel like I kind of started doing the missions mm -hmm. trip, like starting to get the heart for it. I, my first, I went firstly to Ecuador at 16, and then the next year our, our trip, our church ended up like putting together, well, we didn't put together, we like went with another uh, mm -hmm. organization, and I was like, you guys, we need to go, let's go as a family, and they were all like down, they're like, yeah, let's do it, like that'd be so much fun. So we went, and like, honestly, one of my favorite parts is being with my family and, like, getting to grow together, but also just, like, being in the culture, and it's just such a difference from America to, like, where the places have go. Like, we've been to Dominican and Nicaragua mm -hmm. so far as a family, and now we're going back to Nicaragua, yeah. but it's just, like, to be able to see and, like, bring that back home and share it, because we also are very involved in our youth ministry, so it's being able to share that heart with the youth, because a lot of them don't realize, like, how much, how much they have and, like, the stuff that they get just yeah. for being an American youth totally. and so it's just like being able to like teach them like no this is not all like that life yeah. is about like you know here's these kids that I've met like here's their stories and just kind of like bringing awareness to the situation and bringing like hope to no. them. Yeah, it's such an eye-opening experience being in another country where like are you really in America we are taking care of nice like but mm -hmm. to go there and see them have very little mm -hmm. but the biggest smiling smiles on their faces mm -hmm. and they're just so happy with and content with what they have honestly it was almost like it was mission strips for us to go help there and bring hope and yeah. bring life but it brings hope and life to yourself just going to these countries and seeing people oh, with so much joy and happiness and they the love for the love for Jesus too they that's like they put so much faith into that one thing because that's they hold on that's to it thing, yeah. you know it's it's, faith it's building beautiful for yeah it's faith building for myself mm -hmm. and as well as we're trying to build faith there and it's like it's awesome being able to see all the children too that's one of my favorites is seeing their smiles and like being able to put shoes on children being able to give them a glove being able to play soccer with them and they just like they or providing like medical providing medical yeah. and this houses, year there's cars. wells houses and there's business meetings like even for the people that own businesses there there's mm -hmm. christian businessmen that come on this big trip and they throw seminars for them how to run a healthy business. It's like awesome to see the lives changed. Mm -hmm. So, Well, thank yeah. you guys for all yeah. that you do being really the hands and feet of Christ because that's really what it's all about in those countries that are uh, less fortunate than we are and really makes us really not take for granted yeah. what exactly the freedoms that we have here where some of these countries don't. So mm -hmm. thank you for the work that you guys do over there. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we saw a portion our viewers mm -hmm. did of the music video as we rolled into the open. Um, it's kind of a worshipful setting. And of course, mm -hmm. you two are worship leaders at your home mm -hmm. church as well. Um, what experience just ha have you guys grown from being able to just lead worship every single Sunday, seeing hearts changed, mm -hmm. lives changed, uh, just as, as the whole church is moving together in one accord? What's the best thing being able to do that every, every week for you guys? I'd say the, one of my favorite things is just watching people lead into the presence. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's fun to watch, but it's also fun to, like, join in with them and mm -hmm. just being able to, like, cultivate that atmosphere of, of worship in the room and just being like being able to listen and be in tune with the Holy Spirit and just knowing like okay this is where we're going with it yeah. okay or maybe we're going to turn around and go with mm -hmm. this way it's been a leadership experience as well as yeah. learning how to deal with so well, like uh, for worship team members uh, just you you learn your team so well each and every single one of the personalities and you become 
you become a better worker as well as a worship leader is of working with people. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of my favorite mm -hmm. things too is just is learning about people learning, and what they yeah. love to do. And um, I, also yeah. we've gotten, mm -hmm. <laughs> since we started, we've gotten a lot better at singing and just being able to be <laughs> comfortable in front of people on stage yeah. and just learn that it's not about uh, just singing and looking good on stage. It's just about worship, yeah. you know, just worshiping just him and being authentic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like some days, uh, like I just uh, have my hair up and I'm, you know, barely wearing any makeup and I just, because yeah. it's not about like the looks and like the facade of being on stage. It's like, no, I just, I want to be with Jesus and I want youth, like, because we, prim we primarily lead at youth, but it's just like realizing like, uh, like you don't need to have all this like cool stuff to just be with Jesus and to h like help, mm -hmm. help cultivate an atmosphere of worship. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Chloe and Jordan Obaya joining us on an all new CMS TV. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, uh, you brought your guitar along. You're going to be playing for us a little I song potentially song. off that uh, EP. Tell us which one you're going to be uh, playing. Uh, we're going to be us. playing the second one. And the second one is Chloe's song off the album, The I Am Your Song. So, second one on there. Mm -hmm. And um, this one's going to be Chloe's main song. So, actually, in the album, it goes me and Chloe play a song mm -hmm. together. And then the second one is predominantly Chloe's. Then the third one is predominantly mine with, I still, I was like, oh, I need you on this part. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Which is typically how we do kind of a Sunday night, too. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Like, we, how we do a Sunday night worship was It is pretty much how we do a Sunday night worship session. Yeah. So we were like, well, let's just, let's just do it the way we do normally it do. The way we <laughs> do it. So. And it's, for those yeah. that are, are hearing this song potentially for the first mm -hmm. time, tell us about the premise of this song and the meaning behind it. So, I, I'm yours is mainly yeah. just kind of like, because we, you know, when we go places, it's like realizing that there's a lyric in there that says, like, that when you're with Jesus, like your home, and it's just mm -hmm. like knowing that you may not be like where your home is, your actual home, but like your home, where, wherever you're at is your home with Jesus and you're gonna mm -hmm. be with him. So it's like just being able to give your whole life and just say that you're yours, like he, mm -hmm. I'm yours, like, you know, in your home, like simple. <laughs> yep. Each one of the songs has a uh, different meaning behind it and the whole album in itself has a meaning with just saying, send me, and we're both missionaries, so it's just like, send us Father. And each one of the songs just talks about those different stages of our lives. So if you listen closely to the words, you can kind of pick up where we're coming from with yeah. every single lyric mm -hmm. that we brought it down to. We were like, it means something to us. They're not just words or filler words. So it's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. We'll allow Jordan to grab his guitar here, and while he's getting Sweet. set up, I will do some show announcements here on the program. Now, coming up, of course, all of you know that we have some a media presence at Creation Festival Northwest every single year, and this year is no exception. It'll be our ninth year on location. You can tune in July 13th to the 15th. If you haven't made your arrangements to join us in Kennewick, we invite you to do so at the Benton County Fairgrounds. Go visit creationfest.com. Click on the northwest part of the site. You can get your tickets there and view the lineup and whatnot. And we'll tune in to our Facebook page as well at Christian Media Spotlight, where we will be doing Facebook Live interviews with all your favorite artists that are performing at Creation all weekend long. We have a couple of announcements, new ones for you. We've been announcing artists all uh, month long, and we've got a couple for you who are watching the live show today, appearing with us on site and on set. You can look forward to a return interview from Love and the Outcome. They will be joining us on set at Creation Northwest. And we've got one of the bigger rock bands in the Christian music scene. He is a speaker as well as a performer this year at Creation Northwest. I'm talking about Kevin Young and the band Disciple will be joining us on site and on set for Creation Fest weekend. That's July 13th to the 15th. Go to Christian Media Spotlight on Facebook for all the coverage from Creation Festival that weekend. If you want to join us in person, we invite you to do so. Creationfest.com. Click on Northwest and you can find out everything you need to know about joining us in person uh, at the festival. Look forward to seeing you there. And right now, here are once again... Our special guests on this in-studio edition of Christian Media Spotlight CMS TV, brother and sister duo Chloe and Jordan Obaya with their song, uh, I'm Yours. I am yours. I am yours. <laughs> Take it away, guys.
There it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chloe and Jordan Obaya here, our special guest. I'm yours. That's the song you just heard. For those that want to uh, either get a copy of the EP, find out more about you guys, or help support uh, your missions trips that are upcoming, tell our viewers, uh, both on television and online, how they can do just that. Well, you can look up our YouTube video, and it's going to be the Send Me. So you can type that in, and it's going to be, or you can even Google our name, Jordan and Chloe Obaya, and that should come up. And underneath the, our YouTube link, it's going to be our link to our You Caring site. And on there, you can find um, digital copies, album copies, and as well as we have t-shirts um, on order right now that'll show up for, there's different packages you can get to help us send us to Nicaragua this year. And um, yeah, you can find us on that link. And then as well, coming up after we get back from the mission trip, it'll be on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Prime, whatever, whatever your music outlet <laughs> is. But if you want to help us send us to Nicaragua and you want to get the album now, you can go to our You Caring site and just look up Jordan and Chloe Obaya. Send me. Terrific. Yeah. And for the remainder of the year, I know we got some mission trips coming up. Uh, what does the rest mm -hmm. of the year hold for you guys in addition to the worship leading that you do? Uh, what's up next in the future for you guys? Um, so after the Nicaragua trip, uh, we'll be coming back. Before we leave on the trip, actually, I have personal music that I'm, I'll be releasing too that'll be separate. It'll be more like, it won't be worship music, it'll be like my own style of like dancey, dancey, fun. dancey fun music and good summer. Uh, yeah, summer good summer music. stuff. And <laughs> as well as I do videography and I'm a photographer as well. So nice. I've got a pretty book summer with some weddings so far and just some fun projects. And then Chloe will be heading to... Uh, hopefully Australia. Yeah. I'm I've oh, wow. signed mm -hmm. up to do it. Have you heard of YWAM? Uh, yeah. Youth with the Mission. So yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. I've applied to do a, a DTS down at YWAM. So nice. we, hopefully we'll hear yeah. back soon if I get in this week. So yeah, so nice. that's my plan. She wants <laughs> to do that. And then we're honestly thinking about this was so fun and we've done that. And it took off so well about doing a Send Me album every single year for each new mission trip, trip that we want to go on. So that might be part of our future. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. see where this first one goes so, and we can be on to a lot more. We're, so talking about doing another one this year. This could be the first yeah. of uh, several or first of many. many. We'll see. We'll see what happens with it. You know, so we're excited. Yeah. Jordan and Chloe Obaya here on an all-new CMS TV. Uh, I think we have a minute or two. We'll do a little segment we like to do every once in a while here on the show called Fun Fast Facts, a chance for you to get to find out a little bit more about your favorite artists. Some <laughs> rapid-fire questions. Uh, since you're from the Northwest, obviously, here in the area, what's your favorite Northwest hangout? Do you have one? Ice Cream Social. <laughs> uh, ice cream social. I Storyville, yeah, coffee. Storyville coffee. Yeah. We, I, I personally, we, we mm. both love ice cream, but like, I love mm -hmm. ice cream. And so ice cream social <laughs> is a little spot in Tacoma that we always go like every night. <laughs> yeah, ice cream social. So if we were to ask favorite food, then that would, I assume, be ice a, cream. Um, <laughs> okay. Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mexican. Okay. All right. I love anything spicy. <laughs> <laughs> if we were to peer into your iPod or CD player, or however you listen to music at the moment, to be streaming services, what might we find you listening to on there? Uh, I listen to a lot of Mexican worship music, <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, like Spanish, worship, yeah, yeah, Spanish, Latino stuff. Um, I listen to my own music, and our church also has a music, <laughs> yeah, uh, has our an album, album. album out too that we released around the same time. Um, I have a song on there too, but um, you can find that on there. You can find some Reliant K. <laughs> yeah. I grew up on All Reliant right. K, listening right. to Reliant K, and I still listen to them. That's my favorite. Christian artist, I would say. <laughs> but yeah. Favorite place you've had a chance to perform music so far? Do you have a particular That's favorite? Probably you. <laughs> That's yeah. I, I used to play in pop, pop punk bands when I was younger, but I played a, a <laughs> yeah. showbox market at, oh, in Seattle, okay. Core yeah. Zone. Yeah. All the all the Seattle venues are always fun. The Crocodile was a blast. Um, where else? Soto Market. That was pretty fun. It used to be a thing there. And, uh, all those places, Enumclaw Fairgrounds is fun okay, there too. Yeah. So yeah, um, I really uh, have for you, um, my church. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing at my church. We'll be performing in Nicaragua. Maybe yeah. we'll be playing our song. So we'll be playing in another nation. Nice. <laughs> It'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. That, of course, is our fun fast facts segment, a chance for you to find out some rapid fire questions about your favorite personalities in Christian media. And, of course, we're here with our very special in-studio guests on this special live edition of CMS TV, Jordan and Chloe Obaya. For those who might be coming away at the end of one of your worship sets at church or whether they might be seeing you at a local show mm -hmm. or things of that nature, or even when they're done listening to this new EP, what's beyond the music? the main message of hope and inspiration that you want your listeners or viewers left with um, when they get done with mm -hmm. one of your sets? I would say like peace and encounterment. Um, a lot of our friends who aren't 
-hmm. Christians or don't like, you know, don't have like a religious background. They just, when they listen to it, they're like, I've never felt so much like at peace and I almost feel like more loved and encountered. They're like, but I don't even know what I feel like. Mm -hmm. And so it's, I think kind of like, it opens the door for opportunity for us to be like, well, we're Christian, yeah, and that's like kind like of what we wrote it for. It's it's a worship album, and but yeah. I mean, we've got testimonies so far. Like, as far as like a simple testimony, and I'll share it really quick. Mm-hmm. Is that like one of our friends? They had a baby, and it wouldn't stop crying, <laughs> and it like literally would not stop. And they put this album on for the baby, and it Aww. fell instantly right to out, instantly yeah. fell to sleep. And it loves the song "Drylands Between." It's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> it just, yeah. So I think yeah. that's yeah, peace but, and like encounterment mm-hmm. of Jesus. And, opens doors for us to share yeah. our love for Jesus sure so far it's been pretty sweet yeah. <laughs> it's getting uh, excellent to spend some time with jo- chloe and jordan obaya here on christian music spotlight here are the stories and testimonies behind the songs of your favorite artists here in christian music and in christian media uh and now of course um your new ep is out now you've got a bunch of worship leading now you guys do a lot in your church with uh, youth as well mm-hmm. um what's the biggest thrill i think of being one of those voices for the next generation coming up and being able to minister in the lives of so many um, youth in the church? I'd say well, the biggest drill. The like, biggest, the biggest, the biggest thrill, the biggest, like the biggest, biggest joy that you get from it. The biggest, oh, the biggest, like, thrill. I got it. Um, I've, I've always been in youth, it seems like. I, I was the youth group, I was in it, and now I'm the leader yeah. in it, so I've really got to see it, and Chloe's recently been able to see it too, but it's just being able to speak life into those kids yeah. that, um, especially in a world like right now, um, well, it's always, you know, there's always the world around it, but just being able to give life to those kids, give them examples of like, this is what life is like, you know, this is like, we love each other, you know, we, we're never bringing each other down um, in our friend groups, and there's always just uh, giving them positivity and just walking them through those high school, high school uh, those problems. high school problems <laughs> that every high schooler has that might not know how to yeah. understand it. And yeah. so, We've all been there and we've had our youth leaders too that were ahead of us that showed us how to do that and now we are up in that position of where we get to teach our kids and do the exact same for them. Lead by example and yeah. Yeah, I just love like, for me my heart's for like the girls because you know, honestly my girls. (laughs) Just being able to like see them and become empowered like within like coffee dates and coffee talks. Like Mm -hmm. just seeing their, like feeling empowered at the end of it, like knowing that they can get through high school or get through middle school with using Jesus rather than like a boy for a, like an attention. Mm-hmm. We got about a minute and change left on the air. Quickly share the web information once again for our viewers, so they can connect up with you. So go to YouTube and type in "Send Me Jordan Obaya and Chloe o- or Jordan and Chloe Obaya," and this, the video should come up. And when you see the video, the drylands between, there will be a link right underneath of it to our you caring site, mm-hmm. and that's where you can get in the subscription box. Description yeah. Box, yeah our description box yeah and you can get our album on our you caring site if you want it now or you can wait a couple months um to get them on itunes it's been great having you guys here thank you for coming down in studio and sharing some of your hearts and your stories and your songs with us and it's been an absolute pleasure uh getting to meet you guys and thank you for coming on the show we really definitely appreciate you sharing some time with us today Thanks for having us. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah, we look forward to having uh, you guys again, and we look forward to having you again right here on the next edition of CMS TV. Thank you so much for watching. Join us on our weekly editions, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, right here on our flagship station, TC Media, and we will see you online on our YouTube site as well, youtube.com slash Christ Music Spotlight. Thanks so much for joining us. This has been a very special live edition of CMS TV. I'm Joseph Neal. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care. Oh,